Yo, what's going on guys? It is Azzy back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a question and answer video. Yes, I have Spongebob and my Guitar Hero guitar behind me. Don't ask me why. That's not important. Let's get right into the questions, shall we? Alright, so the first question is going to be by Sayomi and it's going to be, what is your favourite food? Um, are you serious? Have you not seen my other um, videos with the kebabs? <laughs> no, it's probably not kebabs. I reckon my favourite food is chicken schnitzel. I love schnitzels. Sneeze. <laughs> yeah, schnitzels with a nice mushroom sauce is always the best. I'm not a fan of Parmesan. I, don't know, I like it, but it, you know, it's, I think schnitzels are a lot better. Shh, it's my opinion. All right, number two is by, a question by Dutch, and it is, are you going to be sponsored by kebabs in the near future? Bro, I swear to God, like these questions, man. Have you not seen my video? Like, look at look at the sponsorship video a couple videos back, and you know I'm already sponsored, man. Looks easy. Replays bad. Have you seen Fast and the Furious Seven? If so, did it upset you? I I I shed a couple of tears. Nah, I mean, I've seen Fast and the Furious Seven. To be honest. 1, 2, and 3 are my all-time favourites because it's about Fast and the Furious. Like, it's all about racing and shit. These past couple Fast and the Furious have pissed me off because it's all a, it's just a video, like a cop video, fucking, but cooler, if you know what I mean. It's not really about cars anymore and drifting and racing and shit like that, but, yeah, it did upset me. And Overall, I rate it. It was a good movie, but not as a Fast and the Furious type of franchise movie. And yeah, that's my answer. Air Scars asked, and this was my favorite question out of all of them. It was, how do you propose people start building bridges with the more well-known players in the community? And I assume he's talking about like the not well-known players. So basically, you, if I want to compare this to something, it's pretty much like college ball. It's like basketball. It's like a, it's pretty much a sport these days. You got the high level people who are already in college basketball, and then you got the people in like high school and year eleven and twelve trying to make it there. You don't call me in the middle of my video. Basically, you have to. It's not get lucky, but you have to just keep being there. You have to make them see you and notice you. You need people talking about you, and it's pretty much getting noticed, like. Building bridges, you can just keep talking to them, but if you want to get known by them, you have to be noticed by a lot of players. And then people start, gotta start saying, oh, this player is really good, and then start talking you up. You can't talk yourself up. If you talk yourself up, you're gonna look like a retard. And you're just gonna be, everyone's gonna be like, oh, he's got a big head, he's got an ego, you're a faggot. And you're gonna be one of those scumbags on Twitter that no one likes. Yeah, it's all, it's all just about like making other people believe that you're a good player, or know that you're a good player. And that's how you get closer to the more well-known players in the community. That's how you become a more well-known player. And that was a good question. Next question is Dean2G, the G. Favorite teammate ever and favorite teammate. Wait, did I just say the same thing? Favorite team ever and favorite teammate ever. I suck. Um, favorite team ever had to be beware. I'm sorry to other people that I've seen with, but Beware was so funny. And it wasn't the fact that we were good, we were retarded. We were like, we had call outs like Diagon Alley in Octane and it was just fucked up. <laughs> like the shit that we did, uh, we took nothing seriously. We went to LAN and LAN was, LAN was just all about having fun and shit. I mean, it was really good. And favorite teammate ever would have to be Charles. I've grown up with him my whole life. We're family friends. Um, like basically it's just really fun to play with someone that you've known your whole life and we always got along like sometimes we fought but it was just minor things and then like always we just knowing each other in and outside of the game is always a plus you know and I always love teaming with Charles so yeah tingly if you guys don't know who that is all right Pred best player you played against at LAN best player I've played against at LAN Look, the thing is, I've never versed anyone from T1, or IN now, and I've never versed Immunity or MF ever at LAN in my life. I've always gotten on the other side of the bracket of them. So, 
The only real dominant team I versed was Go um, Avant in Ghost, and we got wrecked by them. But I'm just gonna take them out of it because they just raped us as a team. I think the most annoying person that was always in my face and popped up all the time was Lucky last year at Ghosts in Sydney. Oh my god. I just kept hearing his voice across the room and he was everywhere I went. Like every step I took his face was just there and he was shooting at me and I'm just like, this kid. He'd have to be probably the... He had the most presence. I don't know about best like gun, sh gun skill and like player was but he won them the games like he went huge and so I'd give it to him don't grow ahead <laughs> no but he was I, he was a good player I respect that Prisma for our final question asked what do you think your next move is personally focus on the YouTube side of things or go hard for the rest of the season obviously I'm gonna go hard man I love COD I can't I can't just like let everyone compete get better than me and you know watch everyone while I do these YouTube videos I'm going to be doing both. I'm going to try to get big on YouTube, but I'm trying even harder to win my first land. My goal is to try overpass MF. I know they're the gods. And that is what I plan to do. <clears throat> Might be non-realistic to a lot of people, but, uh, you know, you got to go hard. you got to try these things, you know? Otherwise, you won't get anywhere. Every shot you don't take is missed or that something like that. I can't. <laughs> it's a quote. And... Yeah, it's, uh, answers that. I'm just going to be going real hard for the rest of the season. And thanks guys. Sorry if I didn't ask you a question. I will be doing other question and answers and a lot more videos in the future. I hope you guys liked it. Like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought. And if you have any more questions, hit me up on Twitter. I'll put that in the description below. Peace guys. I'm out.